What's up DC Nation? Welcome back to another video on Justice League Unlimited. And say I'm checking out Season 2 Episode 7 titled Clash. Guys, that style gets me hyped. Clash? Like that makes me think that two titans, big characters in the DC Universe are going to, well, Clash. Like it's gonna be a big action packed episode. I hope so. Like with a title like that, it's gotta be action packed. It's gotta be epic. And I'm excited. But before we get to the episode, make sure you follow my socials, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. They all have the same username, lowercase dc underscore enthusiast1. Also, go check out my website where you can watch all my full episode reactions, including the one for this episode. And yeah, guys, with all that being said, it's time to get to the latest episode of Justice League Unlimited. Oh, is that a long gate man? Dude, he's messed up. Parasite! Yo! And Metamorpho versus Parasite? Okay. Let's go, Metamorpho. Dude, actually, I'm gonna make a prediction. Who's gonna win this fight? Dude, man, Morpho is spooked. Look at him, he's spooked. Like, he just got thrown by Parasite, but that's a good battle. Parasite drains energy, Metamorpho can morph into anything. Like, that could be a visually awesome battle. And so far, it's pretty cool, but, hmm, who could win in a fight? I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm going, I'm going Parasite. Mainly because, okay, Parasite can drain your power from you, but can he do that to Metamorpho? Because if he drains the power, Metamorpho can just morph into something else, and then he has new power. But, okay, uh, I like Metamorpho, though. I like Metamorpho. I'm gonna go Metamorpho. I, I switched. I, I switched up, okay? We're not going on the villain side. We're going on the hero side. Let's go, Metamorpho. Dang. Oh, okay, come on, Metamorpho. You're kind of selling right now. Uh, dude. Ooh. Yo! Like, what? Dude, you hear that? I'm not the only one who heard that, right? It was like the Beats As theme. Hey, yo. Okay, well. Metamorpho lost, which sucks. Like, I, I was really hoping. I should have stayed in my original prediction. Like, Parasite, he just drains energy. I thought Metamorpho, like, since he morphs into other things, maybe he can make a new power. Like, if power is taken away from him, he could morph into a new power. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I was trying to justify Metamorpho winning, but uh, he didn't. He got beat. But hey, we got Batman on the scene, and let's just listen to that theme again. <laughs> Yo, that is so fire, bro. That is so good. That, that was cool. Like, I gotta listen to that one more time. One more time for the one time. Let's go. Wait, no? Okay. That is so badass. Uh, who is that? Somebody... flew past him. I I'm wondering who that is. Dude, oh, what? Okay, I'm gonna act like I didn't. We'll get to whoever, I, I, I already know, it's Shazam, isn't it? But, okay, we gotta listen. Dude, this episode had the Beats Ass theme, and it has the Superman the Animated Series theme, like, right here. Not yet. <laughs> that is so cool, bro! This episode is all right, man, it's got me... 
up from my chair twice. Like, I just love hearing those themes, guys. Like, you hear the beats as theme when Batman throws the Batarang, and then Superman... I don't even know, I actually, I don't think it was the Superman the Animated Series theme. It, it kind of sounded like the Superman the Movie theme from like the 70s. You know, Christopher Reeve, Superman, Richard Donner, Superman, like just that theme. Kind of mixed with the Superman the Animated Series theme. And bro, already a great episode. Metamorpho, Parasite, Batman, and Superman coming in like the world's finest. Like, this might have been the best introduction to an episode in a while like it's got me hyped and bro we got shazam i think that's shazam right we'll see we'll see Let, let's continue yep all right let's check out his look though i'm digging the look like, Shazam looks cool. And guys, Shazam is one of my favorite DC characters. He's very interesting. He, he doesn't have a lot of comics, but the comics he's in are fun, epic. And yeah, the movie Shazam that came out a couple years ago, one of my favorite DCEU movies. It was standalone, self-contained, had a lot of good humor, a great villain, Dr. Savannah. And yeah, there's some, well actually, not some, but a lot of missed opportunity with the end of this DCAU. It would be cool to see Zachary Levi's Shazam versus The Rock's Black Adam. Like, we're, we're not going to get Shazam versus Black Adam in the movie universe, which is so disappointing. Like, come on, bro. Like, you have a Black Adam and Shazam movie, but you're not crossing over. Like, look at all that missed opportunity there. That could be so epic. And actually, they could have did, uh, remember that DC Comics short where Superman, Shazam, and Black Adam fighting against each other? Like, that was so cool. It was like a 15-minute short, but imagine that in a movie. They were trying to set it up, but now it's ending. Like, I'm excited for James Gunn's DC movie universe. I am. Man, I'm going on rants about the DC movies now because Shazam showed up. But yeah, like, I'm excited for James Gunn's movie universe. I am. Like, there's going to be some announcements coming soon. I'm going to cover them. But it's just disappointing that Shazam is being cut off. Black Adam's being cut off. And they are both not going to fight against each other. That, like, that's what I always wanted. When they announced the Shazam movie, I was like, okay, they can start out with one Shazam movie and lead into Black Adam. And we're not getting that. And the new Shazam movie, Shazam Fury of the Gods, actually this is a perfect time to watch this episode. Because that a new trailer for Shazam 2 came out this past week. And although I enjoyed it, it looks fun. Looks like there's gonna be a live action. You got the Shazam family. There may be a DC cameo, a certain hero, but I'm not really I don't I'm not as excited as I should be. Like, the Daughters of Atlas, I could care less about. It just feels like a filler movie. Like, instead of getting a continuation of Dr. Savan and the Brain, or Shazam vs. Black Adam, or The Magic Lance, we're getting this one-off story about the Daughters of Atlas and the gods. Like, it could be interesting, but so far what I've seen the trailer, the actual story doesn't look as interesting. What is getting me to go see the movie is Zachary Levi and the cast. Like, they bring a lot of fun, and I really love the first Shazam movie. But yeah, guys, that, that was, uh, man, I went on a long tangent. I just wanted to talk about it, but yeah, Shazam's here. This episode's gonna be awesome. And bro, Clash, are we gonna see Superman versus Shazam? If that happens, I'm going to get out of my chair for a third time because of how hyped I am. Great episode so far. Dude, I find it so interesting they're calling him Captain Marvel. Because we I haven't heard that in so long. Like I know Shazam was originally called Captain Marvel for so long. But then Marvel took that name. Which, it makes sense. Like, Marvel should have the Captain Marvel name. But... Like, Shazam's still an awesome name, but I, I kind of miss him having his, you know, his alternate name, Captain Marvel. It just made him unique. And, yeah, the history of Shazam is so interesting. Like, there's an old Shazam TV show 
him developing the comics, his involvement in Kingdom Come. Like, I could make a whole video about Shazam and how he's the most, one of the most interesting characters in the DC Universe. Do you guys want that video? Comment down below if you want that video about Shazam. I will definitely make it. Gosh, take it easy, folks. One at a time. Shazam! Yeah! And now he's Billy Batson. Dude, Shazam is one of the most interesting characters. Like, just the idea of a kid turning into a superhero. Yes, ma'am? <laughs> You're late. Again. Again. Isn't it time you learn to take some responsibility for yourself, Billy? Isn't it time Come with me. Man. Oh, okay, well, we got, dude, Green Arrow spinning some game on Black Canary. Like, they're together, but he, he's trying to get some back there. Uh, and then Shiny Knight and Vigilante. Shiny Knight looked like he enjoyed Shazam's presence. Vigilante, I can't really tell. But, dude, Sur Superman better be mature about this. Like, come on, bro. Shazam, he's just enjoying himself. He's a kid at heart. He's a literal, like, he's a literal kid. Like, <laughs> which Superman doesn't know that. But still, man, I, I can't imagine. I'd be so hyped if I was Billy. I'd be the same way. I'd be going around, high-fiving all the superheroes, dapping up the superheroes. It'd be so dope. Hmm. Fire and ice. I know that, sir, but mm. you became a symbol. A symbol that represents all of us. Yes, sir. We don't play favorites. We don't sell deodorant on television. Mm. And we don't get involved in politics. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Dude, why you gotta diss Wally like that? Why you gotta diss the Flash? Did he run Superman? Man. And... We know Shazam didn't mean that. He was just, you know, saying how great the league is and how they changed a villain like Lex to be campaigned to become a president. But obviously the reports, the news, they mixed up. Like, they mixed up what he said. They changed his words to look like he endorses Lex Luthor as president, which is crazy. And I know Wally is pissed. He's like, man, why, why you always got to bring up my faults when somebody messes up in the league? Like, I'm a good team member. He is. Wally, you're the heart of the justice league. Don't even worry. Don't get involved in politics. Mm. Yes, sir. And we certainly don't endorse supervillains for the presidency. Lex Luthor has transformed himself into a respected and admired presidential candidate. And we're delighted to welcome him to the O'Bannon Agenda. Dude, dude, but Superman, I bro, I love Superman here. This is what I want to see in the movies, like Lex running for president and Superman just watching from home like, I don't trust what he's saying. Like, I don't blame him, man. Superman is probably pressed. All they've been going through with Cadmus and then Shazam shows up and it's just that icy in the cake, you know, to irritate him. And I swear, oh my god, if Shazam shows up on that show and Lex is like, I brought a hero to prove that I'm good, oh uh, my, I, he better not do that. I swear if he shows he up, about something far bigger I'm getting up from my chair. And that would be my newest project. They've Lex. apparently forgiven her and offered her a second. Uh, Shazam, don't get cocky don't yet. Know. He's all like, I was right, but nah. Some might say dangerously so. He loves charities. Hey, that's great, isn't it? Let's talk. Uh, <laughs> Superman, bro. He is mad. Dude, I just want, okay, Superman's fighting against somebody, but I want to comment on how articulate and just businessman Lex is. Like, Lex is so smart. All he need was Shazam, somebody from the league, to say something kind of good about him. Like, Shazam wasn't really talking about him. He was talking about how great the league is, but sounded good for Lex's campaign. So he uses that, and he used the Thangarian War, Star-Crossed, Hot Girl being redeemed to feed into his whole theme of redemption. It's a smart way to get into the campaign and to become president. Like, I love this interpretation of Lex. Hmm. Superman. Yes? This is Emil Hamilton. Jean was kind enough to patch me through. What is it, Professor? There's something mm. here I think you should see. 
dude. Emil Hamilton, the guy under Cadmus. Dude, Cadmus is scheming. Hamilton, especially. Like, he sounds like a good guy, but he's got Galatea locked up somewhere, and I'm waiting for Galatea to return. If it's just a simple robbery. Why call us? We'll be moving here to our city of tomorrow. Wait. Go on, you Hold up. He's bringing Fosters into the city and Billy Batson is an orphan? Like, dude, Bi no wonder Billy is so with Lex. Like, like, Billy, yeah, he's more of the league, but I don't blame Billy. Billy's just a kid. Let's see what Billy Batson does. Have yourselves a ball. If he is even there. Like, I don't even know if he's there. <laughs> and obviously, yeah, they're trying to talk with Superman now. Uh. Dude. I already know where this is going. Superman uh, listened too quickly. He's, he should listen a little more. He just listened in. He's expecting Lex to do something bad. And then uh, it's going to turn out Lex didn't do nothing bad. Like, I, already, I can see it from a mile away. But, like, Lex is actually doing something. Like, it's so ironic. Like, this whole situation. Like, you see the development between Superman and Lex's ri rivalry. Their whole like, vil hero-villain relationship, that development since Superman the Animated Series to now is crazy. At least someone around here is keeping a cool head. Mm. There's no time for this. Dude, Superman. All right, here comes the clash. Shazam versus Superman. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Let's go. Yo, this is wild. I got chills, man. I'm excited. Come on. Ooh, dude, right into the hospital, too. That's bad. Dude, he's gonna throw. Oh, my gosh. He threw a bus at him. Hey, yo. Damn. Come on. Dude, the punches really have impact. Like, this animation is amazing. Hmm. Dude, let's go. Bro, I can't. Like, this... This is so awesome. Bro, like, look at that shot. Like, he got hit into a building. Like, dude, I thought even if they were going to have a clash, it'd be so short and brief. But no, we're getting a full-on fight. It's like, it's a real clash of titans. Superman, the Man of Steel, and Shazam, Captain Marvel. What a great episode. I think one of you guys in the comment section a couple videos ago was like, oh, you're so close to the biggest clash of the century. And yeah, this is it. Man. Alright, alright, let's go, let's go. Let's lock in. This, this is so cool. Ooh. Come on, box, box. Ooh, dang. Yeah, Superman is winning. Like, the Man of Steel is stronger than- Oh, Bro. Dude, but look at all the destruction they're causing. They're destroying the entire city of Metropolis. And this reminds me of Man of Steel when Superman and Zod fight. Like, they're causing all this damage and it's gonna cause the people of Metropolis the people of the world, to find a reason to go up against Superman, to go against his ideals. Like, okay, you're such a great hero, why'd you destroy the city? Like, why'd you not 
take Shazam somewhere else and fight him in an open field. No, you destroyed an entire city that houses so many people, so many citizens. Like, there's so much consequences that could come from this one fight. And uh, you already right, know, Lex is going to take advantage of the situation. It just pushes ideals, pushes campaign more. Dude. He got pushed into LexCore. Oh. Oh. And he's a kid. Mmm. Oh. Hmm. Fights over, son. Dude, that was a well done scene. Oh, he, he put it like a. He wrapped up his mouth so he can't say it. Uh, and the Adam's well, checking. It uh, seems to be exactly what Luthor said it was. Mm. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. If anyone should apologize, Superman, it's me. Mm. I should have tried to make the free power a surprise. Superman. Given the oh, circumstances. Wait, crap. I didn't pause it. Okay, bro. Ha. Ah. He apologized too. This is exactly what Lex needed. And I gotta say, that scene, like, that fight between Superman and Shazam was phenomenal. Like, so awesome. And, yeah, that part when he just kept saying, Shazam! 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 And Superman uh, won the fight, but he lost the battle here between him and Lex. Like, Lex, this is next step in his plan. Lex is so calculating, man. I should have known better. Mm. Of course, the Justice League will pay for the damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that might come up against my share of pretty nasty bad guys, but I never had to act the way they did to win a fight. Mm. I always found another way. I, I guess I'm saying I, I like being a hero. Yeah. A symbol. And that's why I'm quitting the Justice League. Oh man, I was really hoping he would not say that. And do you get see Superman's face when he said, I idolized you? Like, Superman's like, ah. But I, I can't, I don't, I don't blame Superman. It's Lex. Like, it gets in your head. It's the same way Joker gets in Batman's head and causes all these problems. But it's such an interesting conflict. And now Shazam, he might end up siding with Lex and we'll have another fight in an upcoming episode. I can see that, actually. But well, let's keep it going. You don't act like heroes anymore. Hmm. They're still heroes. They're just... Uh, it, it's just keeping up with that theme of they've grown too big and... He's right. They set you up. Hmm. Yeah, Does they... it really make a difference? After all, I... They. They. Hmm. Batman knows. My boy, the greatest... De the world's greatest detective. Well, Mm. All I wanted was for Superman to destroy the energy source. That's a, is that Amanda Waller? That's got to be Amanda Waller. While those media morons filmed every horrific moment, it mm. was more yeah, than I it's ever her. Hoped for. Everything's going according to plan, mm. and we're just getting started, bro. Wow. What an awesome episode, man. That was, that, that was amazing. That might be, oh, wow. Is that my favorite episode of the season thus far? Like, how the episode depicted Shazam. How it depicted Lex Luthor. Him campaigning, manipulating everything. How it depicted Superman jumping to conclusions. But I really like how the episode ended. Okay, Shazam, he's Queen of Justice League. We think that Lex has won... The, the ultimate, like, he's won. Like, he won this episode, but at the same time, Superman is not alone. I like that Batman said, they set you up. Like, Batman knew. He is the world's greatest detective. He knows what's going on. He's the Dark Knights. And when he said that, Superman's like, they? Like, Batman's like, I know what's going on. Like, that they ain't gonna fool me. 
Like, Superman is such a good hero, he can be fooled. And the one time he was actually not being fooled, it was turned against him. And yeah, the end of this episode, that final scene, seeing the reveal, like, I always knew, like, ever since the Galatea episode, Fearful Symmetry in Season 1, and they showed the shadow, and I thought it was Lex, I always knew that. Like, I figured it was Lex, but it was cool to see Lex talk with Amanda Waller and really bring an official start to their plan, their ultimate plan. Their ultimate plan begins now. And yeah, guys, I'm just excited to see the next few episodes of the season. We only got six episodes left of the season, and I already know it's going to be Cadmus-focused. Like, this was, okay, Fearful Symmetry was part one, The Ultimate was part two, the Dark Heart episode was part three, and then we had the Doomsday Sanction, that was part four, and then the Task Force Sex episode, that was part five, and this is part six. Cadmus Storyline, part six. And yeah, it took six parts to get to this big moment, and yeah, we got six more episodes. We're halfway through the Cadmus Storyline. And I just gotta say, I know why you guys praise this storyline so much. Like, this episode alone was so awesome. And I just got hyped, man. I got my seat, like, three times. All the different heroes that showed up. Metamorpho, Elongate Man, Adam. We had the world's finest, Batman, Superman. We had Shazam. And yeah, I think this is the perfect interpretation of Shazam's character. We got to see him be a kid. Him try to be the boy scout him being a hero him thinking about fair play trying to go off of people's words but that's not how it always is like shazam is early in his career where the justice league are far ahead and they know that it's more complicated than that it's not just okay you go off people's words and they'll be good no sometimes they're villains and they're fooling you and they're manipulating you same as superman's been manipulated countless times and he didn't want that to happen again. And yeah, guys, just this idea of the Justice League looking like the Justice Lords, like that parallel, but they're not actually that is so interesting. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna give this episode an obvious 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. It's my favorite episode of the season thus far. And yeah, you guys, some of your thoughts on this episode down below. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. New channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Justice League Unlimited reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.